Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to this uh, fresh unboxing on the channel in VR. Today we are going to check out the Vive Pro. This is one of the most expensive HMDs on the market right now. And I'm just very curious what it's all about and what it offers for this price. So before we are going to uh, check it out and before we go deeper into the rabbit hole, I would like to tell you a little more about this Vive Pro. So the Vive Pro is not a completely new headset. No, compared to the classic Vive, it's more of a professional upgrade that will give you enhanced optics, a higher resolution, optimized ergonomics, a cleaner setup, Steam VR tracking 2.0, an improved link box, and better sound. You get a 3K resolution, which uh, gives you 78% pixel increase over the vanilla Vive, and instead of having to buy a deluxe audio strap, you now get one that is attached to the HMD. The optimized head strap makes sure the headset gets balanced out with the increased point of weight support and in terms of comfort they pretty much reinvented the Pro. It will be easier to adjust and to wear this HMD so technically you would be able to clock more hours within the metaphors. So the Vive Pro at this very moment is a slight upgrade targeted towards VR arcades, development studios and other VR companies out there who create or share content. This also explains its price, it's not really for consumers, it's more for the industry, it's for people who use a Vive for work. And now it's time to unbox the Pro and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is it, this is our moment, we are about to unbox the Vive Pro. The hype is real, I'm so excited to uh, check it out. Before we uh, dive into the box itself, I do want to talk about the outside because it's as interesting as what you can find in this box. So, yeah, as you can see, the, the design has changed. It's now white and as you may know, the, the classic Vive was packed in a black box. So they went for a total new Vive and I gotta say, it's interesting. It's really interesting because the, the Vive Focus has a black box now and the Vive Pro has a white one so I'm not sure what is going to happen to the to the next headset HTC is going to bring out but hopefully next to black and white we will not see a purple or pink box who knows time will tell but anyway uh, there is a big picture of the Vive Pro on the front uh, it's so big that they had to put a part on the bottom it's it's kind of strange and uh, yeah, here you can see the logo. I think we will see this more where it's not only Vive, but Vive Pro, Vive Focus, Vive, whatever. We will see a lot of that happen in the near future. So when we then go to the right side, we have all the specs, we have information about what's in the box. It's also uh, good to uh, see that they are uh, informing you about the fact that the base stations are not included. So yeah, you will only get a HMD, a bunch of cables, and of course the link box. That's about it. This is more of an upgrade. It's not really a starter kit for consumers. It's more for companies. Yeah, on, on, the, on the back, you have the same info where it says, hey, uh, you will get a headset, a link box, and, and that's about it. So to just avoid any confusion. And then we also have info about Vive part. There's even a lineup of games around it. We have a Hollow Ball, Fantastic Contraption, Peerhead Arcade, Sorrento, great game. We have Overkill, The Blue, Super Puzzle Galaxy, Skate VR, Stonehenge VR, Final Soccer, Cosmic Trip, Archery, shout out to the VR unicorns, I love you guys, and a lot more. They also go a little bit deeper into what a Vive Part subscription is and what you can do with a Vive Part arcade uh, license. I'm not a big fan of their marketplace. I do want to like it, but there is a lot they need to improve. But Vive Part can be compared to Steam and other marketplaces out there that offer VR content. They got a long way to go, but I hope that Vive Part will live up to its potential later down the road. I think we have been uh, rambling for way too long about this uh, box, about the overall design. I think it's now time to 
check out the inside and uh, see how it has been packed, what the quality is, etc. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to uh, open it slow but steady. Okay, so what do we have over here? Not that much, not yet, but as you can see there's a little paper that, that sticks out and you need to pull it. This is the manual of the Vive Pro. Let me get rid of the box so I can uh, give you a closer look. So the front of the uh, manual pretty much uh, tells you how to use the head strap. There isn't that much on this manual in the first place because as I said before it's an upgrade so they are not going to tell you how to uh, set up the lighthouse uh, sensors or how you need to pair your controllers. No, this is just the headset combined with a link box so there isn't that much you need to know. I'm surprised they didn't go for the Partle vibe but since this is for businesses and uh, enterprises it's more straightforward, less playful, but that's fine, that's okay, because it, it, it sets the mood for the businesses out there. I, I don't think you want to go for too much uh, circus on your manual in the first place. So yes, it wants you to follow the online guide to set up your Vive Pro uh, HMD. There's even a code here uh, for uh, free content and a subscription uh, from Vivepart. And uh, yeah, if you want to, you can use this code. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't know if the camera is focusing that much. I think a lot of people are hunting for these codes. So uh, be quick. And then on the back, we have this. It just tells you what's inside once again. So you can double check if you got everything. It also tells you that you need to set up your uh, lighthouses, that you need to get your controllers ready to go. Yeah, it even says it here, by the way. Make sure you've installed Vive software, update your graphics card, and uh, set up the base stations. That's all you have to do. Easy peasy. They even made it more simple by putting a few pictures on top. So everyone understands what they need to do. So anyways, that was the manual. I'm going to uh, drop it right over here. It's time for the headset. Yes, let's do this. Let's be careful here. I'm going to, oh, it's heavy. Oh, careful, Nathy. Oh, this is intense. Here's the box. As you can see, we got a Vive on the front and a four. And these numbers basically mean uh, not that much. They just give you an order of how you need to unbox everything. I'm, I'm just too pumped, I'm too too excited, so I'm going to cheat here. I'm just going to go for four now. It's like, like uh, skipping dinner, but go for the ice cream straight away, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Oh, <laughs> so it's not uh, packed into a, a foam base. No, it's, it's sitting on a, a plastic one combined with cardboard. A little bit disappointing compared to the uh, old box you got with the Vive. So let's let's get it out. Careful, Nati. So the the cables were in a side section here. First of all, let me smell it. Factory new. I love the smell of a of a new HMD in the afternoon. I can't complain. I'm, I'm honored, by the way, to be one of those VR content creators out there that receives a Pro from HTC to review and use. I mean, back in the days, I had to just buy my headset. And now I sometimes get the opportunity to receive one from a company. But it's still rare, okay? It doesn't happen that much. Maybe it looks like I'm getting every headset and uh, it, it's, it's almost like it's Christmas every week here, but no, that's not true. I still buy most of my headsets. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get it out of the plastic. Ooh la la, so sexy. Oh, isn't this amazing? What a beauty. Looks very similar to the uh, Vive Classic. The only difference is, is the, the head strap, of course, and the front. There's two cameras. And the color, it's, it's dark blue. I expected it to be brighter because in the trailer of the Vive Pro they, they show one that is almost like metallic and is super shiny. But in the end a, a black one or a dark blue one 
doesn't change the experience while being in VR. So I, I don't really care that much. But the back is is thick. It's it's whoa. It's it's heavy too. But that's because it needs to balance out the front of the HMD. There it is. There's a a neck cushion there, and uh, it's so soft. It's still that that cheap foam on the front. I thought it would be better quality. I still think I need to use VR covers to to save the day. And the uh, earphones are are packed with, with bubble plastic. Okay, let's uh, open these up and uh, and see what 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 they are made of. Let's do a little time lapse here, okay? So what I noticed straight away is the fact that you do not need a audio uh, a cable anymore that you need to plug into your HMD. As you may know with the deluxe audio strap you had to uh, use a little jack and open the front of your HMD to connect it. But over here it's all built in so you don't have to do that anymore. As you can see there is no cushion in the middle anymore of the earphones. You do have that with the deluxe audio strap. There is a, a mute button here. Uh, it's so tiny, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a button here. And uh, then you can mute yourself mid-game. Yeah, you can uh, move them up and down, left and right, and towards your ear or away from your ear. And, and they sound better, of course, but I haven't, I haven't been able to try that yet. So that's the audio part. If I, if I forgot anything, I'm so sorry. And then let's talk in short about the cable. It's still a three in one, but what a surprise. They now use one connector instead of three cables. You always had like that HDMI cable at the end, a USB one and power. It's now all combined. It's more future proof. The front of the Vive Pro, one of the most interesting parts of this unboxing. Of course. So as you can see, the, the cheese holes are still there. They make sure your uh, headset is getting tracked properly. But more interesting is this stereoscopic camera in the middle. Yes. So what does it do? Well, it's not capable of uh, inside out tracking. No. The idea is, is that it's an upgrade over the old chaperone system. It should be able to spot objects that are in your way and also notify you to not move any further. So this stereoscopic camera pretty much captures depth uh, data from about one or two meters away and it should also be able to track your hands. So there is a hands-free experience on the way. That sounds pretty awesome, especially the hands part. It's like a leap motion built in front of the Vive. So you don't need that mount anymore, it's just there. So you can, you can see those two stickers that protect the uh, cameras here from any stretches, stuff like that. And then at the bottom we got two microphones now. One is at the front and then we got one on the bottom too. It's, it's like a mix and this should improve the overall audio quality when you speak to someone within the matrix. I'm really curious how it sounds because when I was using my old Vive, people were always asking me, Nathy, are you using a walkie-talkie or something? Because you sound, well, not bad, but also not great compared to, let's say, my, my Sennheiser microphone or a high-end gaming headset. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, stoked to give this a try. So as you may know, the Vive Classic had two features on the sides of the HMD and the Vive Pro still has the same options. So if you want to, you can change the lens space. Of course you have to. I mean, if this wasn't there, that would have been a disaster. You see this little uh, scroll wheel. And then on the other side, you have this uh, secret button that is well hidden. And as far as I know, it takes you to Steam VR. Now, I, I don't know for sure if what I'm saying now is correct, because I haven't used this button that much. But I think that's all you can do with it. And then we got a button that we have never seen before. A number three that you can't find on your Vive Classic. And that is this button right here. Stay tuned for this one. I'm going to soon show you what it does, but it is useful. Very, very handy. So I think it's now uh, time for us to 
wear it and, and see how they balanced the weight of the front compared to the back. So here we go, another time lapse please. Okay, let's put it on. Let's get ready to rumble. I will have to max out the dial because I got a big head. <laughs> okay. Let's dive deeper into the rabbit hole. I think I need to... Oh yeah, yeah. Ugh. Not too tight. Not too loose. This is perfect. Let me use the strap on top. Okay. Ooh, this feels nice, yo. Okay, so I think I'm wearing it correctly. It is hugging my neck, but also a part of my head. It's in a different region than I expected, but it's not bad at all. I, I can't complain. It's, it's really soft. It is. So how do I look? Where are you guys? I can't see anything. It's, it's plain black. Oh yes, yes, there's the camera. Ooh. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Do I look sexy? Slam that like button if it looks sexy. Let's uh, give the uh, earphones a try. Mm, my ears like this. <laughs> Eargasmic. Okay, so uh, there is a lot of noise cancelling because I'm playing a couple of songs on my computer now and the speaker is right next to me, but I can barely hear it. <laughs> this is crazy. So before I take it off, I do need to talk about this uh, button that is right over here. So when you press it and you hold it and you then slide your HMD forward, it will create more space between your eyes and the screen. So I think this is a way to increase your field of view, but I think it will also help people with glasses to put it in there. Because as you may know, the Vive Classic can't be adjusted this way, but the Vive Pro can, so this is uh, very good. It's a nice system. It looks funny when you, when you adjust it. You can see things moving in there and wow. Let me take it off now because I have been staring at a piece of cardboard for five minutes now. I would instead like to play a game or an experience. Uh, I hope you understand. But uh, uh, anyway, I noticed that the sides are balancing out the front and the back really really well because it makes a snake turn here you see and and i think that's that's the key to success it it yeah i don't feel any like weight at all of course i i do feel there's something on my head but not in a way where it's like oh the front is just too much and the back no it's it's just perfect it's it's in balance it's in harmony if you know what i mean but yeah this this snake turn that that goes from the hmd up and then also slightly down is is a smart way to do it as you may know the deluxe audio strap of the Vive Classic went for a straight line and and that's a lot different so this feels better but I do want to warn you for the fact that what I just said is accurate but also isn't because I haven't been wearing this for let's say two hours straight where I'm playing a intense game like super hot and I'm uh, uh, playing like a madman then it's going to be different, I'm, I'm sure. So the feedback I'm giving you here is based on just me wearing it for five minutes. What I'm also wondering is, will Sweat destroy this Vive Pro? Have they worked on this issue? I don't know, there was no sticker on the box saying this is sweat proof. <laughs> it would be funny though if they did that, but it's a serious issue. There are a lot of people out there that destroyed their Vives with their own sweat, it's, it's crazy. I'm not sweating that much myself, so I can't test it, but let's see what happens in the world. Yeah, let's uh, just uh, go and uh, open the last box. I'm going to uh, keep it short. This was number three that I skipped because I wanted to go to number four right away. <laughs> oh, the excitement. Oh, this smells uh, oh. Nice too, <laughs> it does. So let's start off with the link box. And uh, yeah, as I said before, there is only one connector that goes into the link box now from the HMD side. And uh, that's nice, it's, it's, it's less 
less chaotic. It's, it's more of a clean setup, I would say. There's even a button here that allows you to turn off the link box. You also get a, a sticker, so you can uh, stick your link box to your floor so it doesn't move. That's this little black thing. And then we have two cables here that uh, uh, will have to go into your PC to connect it. And uh, we have an extra, what is this? Is this a nose piece? No, this is something else. Hmm, what is this? Hmm, Curious Nati. Sherlock Nati will investigate. So let me open this. <sighs> ah, this plastic. My worst enemy. Okay, uh, oh. Wait, I think I know what these are. So when you decide to take off the earphones, you can put these over the holes and uh, fill it all up. Ah. If it's for something else, then I would love to know, but I think that's it. And uh, what is hidden in the deep, deep corners of this box? I think another cable. Yeah, that's the, the power adapter. That's it, that's a wrap. Let's uh, now jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's uh, go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, was the unboxing of the Vive Pro. I Hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, then be sure to slam that like button and let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about this HMD. You can also go to the description. I put a few links there that tell you more about the specs of the Vive Pro, the price, etc. So yeah, I kind of look like a zombie in this uh, unboxing video. I'm so sorry, I was juggling with like five projects well, I was also trying to unbox the Vive Pro. I, I can tell you that I was at a convention and then I heard that the Vive Pro got delivered to my doorstep. So I decided to travel back to my VR studio to do a quick unboxing to tell you more about this uh, new HMD. And then after that, I went back to the convention again. So I was in a rat race. I was trying to make content for you all, talk about the Vive Pro, but also be somewhere else and focus on other things. So it was just nuts, but I'm happy I made this video because I think it's pretty good and it's, it's really informing you about what this Vive Pro exactly is, uh, what it's capable of and who it's for, you know? So yeah, again, I know I said this before, but I have to make this clear. It's so important, the Vive Pro at this very moment is an upgrade for VR arcades, for development studios and other VR companies out there who create or share content. If you are someone who uses a VR headset to play games and experiences only, there is no real reason for you to buy a Vive Pro right now. I mean, the extra features like, for example, a higher resolution, the head strap, better audio and an improved link box are great for daily work sessions, but are not going to make your overall gameplay experience go next level. So if you use it purely for entertainment only from within your living room, bathroom, office or wherever, I would invest into a good amount of games or gadgets instead of spending your money on a pro. The Vive Classic is a nice headset that should do the trick for now. Maybe if the price drops in the near future, you could reconsider, but for now, I would wait. The price and the overall features of the Pro are mainly for the industry. So, if you are a person who owns a business that operates within the VR industry, I would definitely consider buying one for you and maybe your team. Anyway, total different subject. I forgot to tell you about the fact that the Vive Pro now makes use out of a display part. So you do not need to hook up a HDMI to your computer anymore. No, they decided to go for a Type-C to display part because of uh, the resolution. The resolution is a lot higher now and that means more data. And the only way you can transfer more data is by using a display part. Very interesting indeed. Also something I totally forgot to uh, show you guys is the uh, inside of the Vive Pro. So let me just zoom in with the camera and uh, give you a sneak peek. So there you go. It's hard to see, I know, but this is it. You can't really see the difference in resolution, of course, because you need to experience it for yourself. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Vive Pro. I really hope that 
They will be selling this headset together with the new Vive controllers, the new lighthouses, and uh, maybe even the uh, YGIG Intel uh, wireless adapter. We'll see, we'll see. I don't really know what they are going to do exactly, but I do expect a, a bundle uh, later down the road. I don't know how long it's going to take before that's going to happen, but what I do know is that it's going to be freaking expensive. I mean, this one is $800. Imagine how much the full package would cost. Mind-blowing indeed. So, yes, I will have to uh, uh, play a little bit more with the Vive Pro before I can tell you uh, the rest of the story too. So, uh, yeah, I will just uh, spend more time within the metaphors and then we'll see how well it performs and how well it works and etc etc so yeah now it's time for me to sign off and as i always say and i see you guys uh, next time see you in the metaphors bye bye see ya later